Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beard Dad Reviews. Me, Dave the Beard Dad. And today uh, we are going to do another Neptune beer. I am from the Neptune Brewery, brewery up in McGull. That's not so far, just outside uh, Liverpool. Um, and the one we're going to do today <coughs> is the Hibiscus and Passion Fruit Wheat Beer. And it's a uh, Namaka. There it is, a lovely looking can. It's one of the uh, brand new 440ml cans. Um, I did the Amarillo and Citra, I think it was. Um, and I've got the Namu, I think, still to do for 340ml cans. Um, I say, yeah, these are built, made out of brewed out of Mughal. Um, best before on this one, if I can find it, it's April 2019, because it says so right there. And it's, I say, it's 5.4%. There you go. As I say, I've done a few Neptune beers before. I drink more of them than I actually review. Um, they are really, really good. Um, I think the first one I ever did was their Fugu Saison. I didn't like that one. Um, but other than that, since then, I've kind of got myself into them and they are pretty much spot on. So, not had this before. Um, I got this from the home... The Oh no, they're going to ship in the bottle in Whitechapel in Liverpool. It was three, three of them, was three of them, I think for eight quid or something like that. I can't quite remember the price. So, I say, not this before, so let's pop the top and see what we get. Oh my days. Oh my days. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's see if we get a bit of a light through. Anyway, there we go. We've got two fingers of blush head. I am body is well. You can see for yourself. It's red. Slightly hazy because it is un uh, unfined. So. It looks really interesting, really, really interesting. Let's get a nose, see what it smells like. There's a tartness coming through. A bit of sweetness. Mmm. The sort of kind of get the passion fruit. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Carbonation is dead light, body is a light, medium light body. So it's a bit of a wheat beer, so it's a little bit, it's not heavy, it's not thick, but it's just nice. But the taste, my goodness me. It's tarty. It's a little bit sweet. You can taste the pa properly taste it subtly taste the passion fruit. It's like there's raw, it's like there's, there's tarty berries in it, uh, maybe a, a raspberry, <coughs> a raspberry tartness to it, but I don't think there's any raspberries in it. To be fair, it could be the hibiscus, so I'm not entirely sure. The hibiscus should be really taste like. It's a little bit, maybe a little bit minty, in there as well. That could be the hibiscus. This is very, very good. Very easy drinking. It's almost like drinking a uh, a fruit cocktail, a mocktail even. It's packs of there's a, a bit of a nice little bit of fruit to it. So, do I like it? A bit of aniseed. Mm. Uh, yes, I like it a lot. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would buy it again. And I would buy it recommended to friends as well. It's a very, very interesting beverage. 
Well done, Neptune. This is absolutely beautiful. One of the best things I've had for you in a very long time. So much going on. It's hard to it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is. It's a bit medicinal. Um it's very 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 good. Very good. I recommend everybody should buy one of these if you can get over it in your area. <sighs> Neptune brews in the back the hibiscus and passion fruit wheat beer 5.4 percent beautiful absolutely beautiful if you've had this beer let me know what you think if you see the video like the video give me a thumbs up if you like the video give me a thumbs down link to the website i think will be in the descriptions where you can buy i think you can buy off the, off the website so if you can get, find this you need to get another one of these get more of these because i'm going to be getting some of these excuse me uh, for my own Ooh, bit of popcorn, personal collection. Anyway, great beer by a good brewery. Well done, Neptune. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Leo.